Okay, so Google just showcased its breakthrough Gemini AI video demos. So in this breakdown, we'll delve into Gemini's 17 newest generalized abilities, from interpreting nuanced visual data to game creation and much more, ranking from the most intriguing to the essential. Number one, understanding nuances. Gemini has an unparalleled ability to understand and analyze visual data and make valuable suggestions combining both image and text. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. Number two, unlocking scientific insights. Gemini's capability to extract and synthesize knowledge from scientific literature offers a significant leap in the speed of research and development. For the relevant papers, we wrote a similar prompt, asking Gemini to read the paper and extract the key data for us. We could even ask Gemini to add annotations. This showed us exactly where in the paper Gemini found the information. We ran this at scale. And over a lunch break, Gemini read 200,000 papers for us, filtered it down to 250, and extracted their data. So now we have a refreshed version of this data set. Number three, unseen programming acumen. In competitive programming, Gemini demonstrates superior problem-solving skills with next-gen logic and reasoning. We are tasked with computing aggregate statistics that account for what appears to be an impossibly large amount of random arrays. The really cool thing is that to solve it, AlphaCode 2 makes use of dynamic programming. Dynamic programming is an advanced algorithmic technique which basically simplifies a complicated problem by breaking it down into easier subproblems again and again. And what's really impressive is that not only AlphaCode 2 knows how to properly implement the strategy, but also when and where to use it. Number four, understanding raw audio signal. Gemini's proficiency in processing raw end-to-end -end audio signals from start to finish allows it to understand nuances in speech, music, and ambient sounds, opening new avenues in audio analysis. How to pronounce the words lunar January in Chinese? Option A, Zheng Yue. Option B, Zheng Yue. Which one is correct? Which tongue is the correct tongue for the first character? Option A. The first character is pronounced with the first tone. Number five, multimodal dialogue. Gemini's capacity for multimodal dialogue allows for interactions using various inputs like images, audio, and video. What's the first step to make a veggie omelet with these ingredients? Crack the eggs into a bowl and whisk them. Thank you for the instructions. I've started making my omelet. Does it look ready now? It looks like it's almost ready. You can flip it over to cook the other side. Why is it not ready? It's not ready because the eggs are still runny. What about now? It looks ready now. You can take it off the heat and serve it. Number six, finding similarities. The ability to find similarities between images demonstrates Gemini's advanced visual recognition and comparative skills. Let's see if our multimodal model, Gemini, can find the similarities between images. We'll start with these two, the Bosch's Chapel and this print by Hokusai. And I'll prompt Gemini, find a connection between these two images. Let's see what Gemini says. A curved and organic composition, the building is more refined, and the second image is more fluid. Yeah, that worked. Number seven, multilinguality. Gemini's multilingual capabilities break down language barriers once and for all. Alors Pierre, quelles sont les couleurs incontournables de la saison? Eh bien Marc, cette saison, le jaune canari et le rouge écarlate sont à la mode. Mais le bleu nuit est out. Hi Gemini. I don't understand this podcast. Can you please summarize it for me in English? The podcast is about the colors that are in fashion this season, 
The colors that are in fashion this season are canary yellow and scarlet red. The color that is not in fashion this season is night blue. Number eight, image to code. Gemini's unique ability to convert images into code has significant implications in software development and design. Let's see if Gemini can make an interactive demo in JavaScript. Okay, here we go. A common algorithm for this is called a fractal tree. Okay, this is pretty cool. Gemini even provided a slider, so I can change and move the fractals. It even provided me with the actual code. Nice. Number nine, game creation. Gemini's creative prowess in game design and mechanics opens up new possibilities in entertainment. Number 10, making connections. Gemini excels in linking disparate pieces of information, revealing hidden correlations and patterns that humans wouldn't see. Number 11, generative outputs. Gemini's ability to generate contextually relevant visual and textual content is next level. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Number 12, logic and spatial reasoning. Gemini skills in logic and spatial reasoning could be crucial in fields like architecture, engineering, and mathematics. So I've got a dining room that faces the opposite direction of my bedroom. I wonder if this plant would do better in there. Let me see. And Gemini responds, So Gemini is surmising that my dining room faces north, has lower light, and is therefore better suited for that plant. Number 13. Understanding unusual emojis. Gemini's comprehension of unconventional emojis reflects its deep understanding of digital communication nuances. For example, if you combine this ghost with this avocado, you get this. We'll see if you can guess this one. I think it's ghost and avocado. Nice. Now let's see if it can explain the visual details it used. The emoji has the shape of a ghost, but it is green and has a big brown pit. Now let's give it a name and a short tagline. Avo Geist, the ghost of Quacamole. That's a good one. Number 14, translating visuals. The ability to translate visual information into understandable content offers a new bridge between visual and textual data. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Number 15. Explanations. Gemini also showcases an advanced ability to explain complex mathematical and physical concepts in an understandable manner. Here, Gemini identifies that the formula was correct, but there was a mistake in calculating height. We can ask Gemini to explain in more details why the height is 50 meters instead of 6. I can ask Gemini to explain further. Here, Gemini explains the step-by-step -step details to solving the problem. Because of Gemini's ability to understand nuanced information and answer questions relating to complicated topics, it can give you a customized explanation of the subject you're trying to learn. Number 16. User Intent Reasoning By intuitively understanding user intent, Gemini can even create tailored experiences, enhancing personalization in technology interactions. Next is a critical step. Gemini writes the Product Requirement Document, or PRD. It contains the plan for the kinds of functionality the experience will have. For instance, it should show different possible party themes, some activities, and food options for them. I can now click on anything in the interface and ask it for more information. I could say, step-by-step -step instructions on how to bake this. And it starts to generate a new UI. This time, it designs a new UI best suited for giving me step-by-step -step instructions. Number 17, cultural understanding. 
Gemini's sensitivity to cultural contexts enhances its effectiveness in global communication and multicultural interactions. These diverse skills not only showcase Gemini's technical sophistication, but also hint at its potential to reshape our interaction with technology across various domains. And as Google's Gemini continues to evolve and conquer human tasks one by one, it looks like we are either on the cusp of achieving true artificial general intelligence, or else we'll just move the goalpost back again as we debate with one another what human intelligence should really look like.